while pregnant, we experience all sorts of new things with our body, including new aches and pains, specifically sciatica pain. There are a few things you can try to relieve this, hot compresses, stretches, maybe a prenatal massage. But today we're gonna to explore acupuncture with Dr. Kara from Aculand. Let's get right into it. What are the benefits of acupuncture for a pregnant woman? So acupuncture has so many wonderful benefits for pregnancy, starting with morning sickness. We can really help with the nausea and vomiting symptoms, and also really great for fatigue that you might experience, especially early on in the pregnancy. And what about that lower back pain that we get, that sciatica nerve pain that I feel like I can't do anything to relieve it. Does it help with that? Yes, yeah, so low back pain during pregnancy is very common. About 50 to 80% of women experience some back pain during pregnancy. Different nerves, like the sciatic nerve, can become compressed. It could be due to extra weight from the baby, you know, putting pressure on the nerve, also, Hormones like relaxin are induced during pregnancy, so that can loosen up the muscles and cause some of that pain. I'm actually really excited to try acupuncture for the first time, so shall we get to poking? Let's do it. Okay. I think you're gonna love it. Yeah. Come on. Um, I'm gonna feel your pulses. Okay, so in Chinese medicine, we feel for different qualities. So I feel you definitely have the pregnancy pulse. Oh yeah? It's kind of like this slippery quality. Um, we call the baby like a little phlegm ball. <laughs> a little phlegm ball. Yeah. It feels like a little phlegm ball. So the pulse is a bit rapid, which is very common. And then can I see your tongue? You stick your tongue out. Okay, and underneath. Okay, so I'm seeing a bit of redness that's showing there's some heat going on, which is very common during pregnancy. Some of those symptoms can be like constipation or heartburn and feeling just hot and irritable. So we can help cool that down with the acupuncture. I have all that. Okay. Definitely irritable. Yeah. We'll chill you out. <laughs> okay, chill me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do your first acupuncture needle. Okay. If anything's uncomfortable, just let me know. There you go, how was it? Is it already in? Yeah. Oh wow, I, I don't, don't feel anything. Okay. So this is a good point to help kind of calm and quiet the mind, it's also uplifting the energy. Now are there certain points that you avoid while, when women are pregnant? Yes, yeah, so there's specific uh, contraindicated points during pregnancy. We don't do this one on the shoulder. There's a really strong energy chi moving point right here called large intestine four. And that's when we avoid because it has a very strong downward energy force, which we do not want right now. So that could help induce labor. We use that right before labor. So the next one here is a good one to help clear some of that heat we were talking about. This is on the large intestine channel, so really good for constipation or any of those heat symptoms. I felt that one a little bit. That one bit. a little bit, yeah. It kind of just felt like a tiny mosquito bite, but one you might not notice right away. Yeah, and it's also very normal to feel like a heaviness or ache. That's kind of that chi and the energy flowing. So oxygen and blood flow come to the area and promote the healing. Mm -hmm. Different hormones are released, like those endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, and your natural opioids, which are painkillers. So you get a little acu high. A little acu high. You know, I'm not feeling any pain. That was my only concern doing this. I do feel slight tingling in some of the areas. There, there's a little bit of warmth, some heating sensation where the needles are. But overall, I feel really great. Yeah, so that heat sensation you're feeling, uh -huh. that's the increased blood flow. So some people say acupuncture is just placebo, but animals get it and reap the benefits, so it's really good proof that it's not placebo. Oh, I actually kind of feel lighter, <laughs> if that makes sense. I, just, I, I do, I'm feeling much more relaxed already. I even forgot there's a needle sticking in the middle of my forehead. All right, so now we're gonna do the side laying treatment and this way we can really get to the hip and the low back area that's being affected with the sciatica, okay? Dr. Kerr, what would you say to people that have a phobia of needles and would be afraid to try acupuncture because of that? It's actually very common, the fear of needles, and that's why a lot of people haven't tried acupuncture, but what I tell them is, the acupuncture needles are not at all like getting a shot. So they're very, very thin, and you can actually fit about 50 of these little tiny acupuncture needles inside the hypodermic needle that they get the shot in. Oh, wow. Yeah, and with the shot, you're injecting or taking out blood with, mm -hmm. you know, through the veins. This, it's completely solid and nothing else is going in or out. 
I actually really, I feel immediate relief. Is that, is that it, real? Am I really feeling that? Yeah, it really works. So there's actually functional MRI machines. So now with modern technology, we have scientific proof that acupuncture works. So the last part of the treatment, we're gonna focus on the ear, which is a microsystem. The whole body is mapped out on the ear. So we're gonna, this little pointer thingy, find the specific points that correspond to your pain in the low back. Looking for the most tender. Let me know, right there? Yeah, that does feel tender. Okay, one or two? Two? Yes. Okay. So then we're gonna take this little ear crystal. And how long do we keep these beads on? So you can leave the bead on for three days. After that, just oh. take it off and you don't even have to press on it or do anything. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know I was gonna leave with some jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> It's really different from what I thought it would feel like. I thought I was going to experience some pain today. <laughs> I have no pain. The point is to get you out of pain. <laughs> yeah, I do. I feel a lot lighter and I really could just take a really nice nap right now. Mm -hmm. And I mean, does, this is also covered by some people's insurance, isn't it? Yeah, most uh, medical insurance does cover acupuncture because it is evidence-based medicine and especially for nausea and vomiting during pregnancy and any pain condition. I would say I definitely recommend this already. And ladies, if you're anything like me, you will try anything new to try to get some of the pain and discomfort of pregnancy to go away. With anything, you wanna consult your own doctor first to make sure it's a good option for you. But this was wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Kara at AccuLand. And good luck, ladies. <laughs>